Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to answer this permutation problem. Okay, let's start. So the problem goes like this. If you read carefully, you'll see we're going to arrange 12 people around a dining table. Nakita nyo? Okay, and then we're given different conditions. We're going to arrange people in a circular manner. Okay, kahit man hindi perfect circle, basta pub bilog. Okay, pwedeng oblong. Okay, so obviously this is a circular permutation problem. Right? So it's nice to recall the circular permutation formula, which is very easy, right? Here, so P is equal to N minus 1 factorial. This gives us the number of arrangements, okay, if we are going to arrange N objects in a circular manner. All right? Okay, so let's deal with this problem one by one. First condition, okay, so there are 12 people here, okay, and these 12 people can be seated on any of the chairs, okay? But remember, in a circular manner, okay? So all we have to do is to recall the um, circular permutation formula, which is n minus 1 factorial. Ito yung number of objects na i-arrange natin in a circle, okay? So we have like this. And then what is 12 minus 1? It's 11. So that's why we have 11 factorial here. And then you may want to write its expanded form. What do I mean by that? Eto. Okay? So you may want to use a calculator to get the numerical value of 11 factorial. Okay? And you should be getting 39,916,800. Ganun kadami. Okay? So this is just a basic example of a circular permutation problem. All right? Let's deal with the second condition. Here. Again, there are 12 people, okay, that we are going to arrange in a circular manner, okay? But this time, three people insist on sitting next to each other. Okay? Siguro BFF sila. Okay? Gusto nila magkakatabi sila. Okay? So, obviously, mas konti kesa yung kaninang nakuha natin kasi limited na yung arrangement. Okay? Because we have this special condition. Okay? So, paano ba gagawin yun? Okay? So, again, in solving a permutation problem, it's nice that you can visualize the problem. So let me help you with visualizing, imagining the problem here. So let's have 12 people here. Diba? Now, let's consider three people na nag insist na dapat magkakatabi sila. Okay? For simplicity, yung last three people na lang dito ang consider natin. Again, kahit sinong tatlo dyan ang piliin nyo. Okay? Alright. After that, Ang gagawin nyo dito sa tatlong ito, igugroup nyo siya as one. Okay? Isa lang kasi dapat kung nasaan yung isang tao, nandun na kaagad yung dalawa pa. Okay? So you may want to consider this as one object muna. Okay? So ibig sabihin, we have here nine different objects plus one object here. So we have ten objects na i-arrange in a circular manner. Right? So, we have this, right? Nine individual people plus one group of people, okay? So, we have ten objects to arrange around a dining table. So, we recall the circular permutation formula, which is n minus 1 factorial. So, to arrange these ten objects in a circular manner, we have this, right? 10 minus 1 factorial. Okay? Yun yung way ng pag-arrange nitong sampung ito. Okay? Kasi nga, kinonsider natin ito as one entity. Okay? Or one object. Okay? Ngayon, hindi pa tayo tapos. Note that, itong tatlong to, 
pwede rin silang magpalit-palit ng position. Right? Kunyari, ito si person A, person B, person C. They can switch positions also. Okay? Ang tanong ko, in how many ways? Okay? Di ba pwedeng si person A, then person B, then person C. Pwede namang person A, tapos si person C, si person B. Or pwede namang si person B muna, and then person A, and then person C. Okay? Actually, if you list down all the possible positions of this three BFFs, you'll have this. Okay? Meron kayong anim na posibleng positions nitong tatlong ito. Okay? So, pwede silang magpalit-palit ng upuan. Basta tabi-tabi pa rin sila. Alright? Okay, so, itong isang arrangement, isa to ha, isa lang to. Okay? Isang arrangement out of nine factorial, meron pang anim na posible kapag nagpalit-palit ng upuan itong tatlong to. So, definitely, itong nine factorial na ito, we still need to multiply this by six. Kasi bawat isa dito, may anim pang posibleng arrangement. Bawat isa. So, that's why in all, we have 9 factorial times 6 or times 3 factorial. Okay? Yung 3 factorial, yun yung possible arrangements nitong tatlong taong to. Na gusto, magkakatabi sila. If you simplify further, you'll have this. 9 factorial, so that's the answer here. Okay? Times 3 factorial. Using your calculator, you should be getting this numerical value. Alright? Okay, let's try the same problem, but this time with a different condition. Okay, this time, two people refuse to sit beside each other. Okay, ayaw nilang magkatabi sila. Okay, so, first, I want you to recall how many ways again to arrange these 12 people in a circular manner. You simply use the Circular permutation formula, which is n minus 1 factorial, right? Here. Okay? So, there are 12 minus 1 or simply 11 factorial ways to arrange 12 people around a table. Okay? So, another one. I want you to recall, paano nga ulit kumuha ng number of arrangements if we want two people to sit beside each other. Okay? Gusto muna nila magkatabi sila. We're going to deal with this question, this condition, later. But for now, I want you to recall paano mag-compute ng number of ways na may condition na gusto nitong dalawang tao na to magkatabi sila. Okay? So, kokopyahin nyo lang yung previous example natin. Okay? Paano nga ulit yun? Yung dalawang tao, this time, kasi kanina three people, di ba? Itong dalawang taong to, igugroup nyo siya as one. Okay? Do you imagine that? When you group these two people together and count it as one, okay? So, di ba, you have 12 people. Tanggalin nyo yung dalawa dito, tapos i-count mo yun na one group lang. So, you have 10 original people or 10 individual plus one group. You have 11 na lang. Okay? And those 11... Um, entities, you're going to arrange them in a circular manner. So, you have 11 minus 1 factorial. Right? Okay. Tapos, ano yung sunod natin ginawa? Um, ilang arrangement pwede or kayang gawin itong dalawang people na ito? Dalawa lang actually or two factorial. Okay? Kasi um, original and then they switch positions. Okay? So, dalawa lang ang possible position ang kayang gawin itong dalawang people na ito. Okay? So, that's why we have this. Okay? So, there are 11 minus 1 factorial times 2 factorial or simply 2, okay, ways to arrange 12 people around the table if 2 people insist on sitting beside each other. Okay? Now, bakit ko pinakuha sa inyo to? Again, yung number 1, this tells us the number of ways para ma-arrange natin yung 12 people around the table. Okay? Ito namang number 2, ito yung number of ways na pagtatabihin natin yung dalawang tao na yun. Okay? So, do you see, kapag kinuha ko yung difference nila, sinubtract ko, ito yung total number of ways 
all in all, to arrange those 12 people in a circular manner, tapos tatanggalin ko lang yung number of ways na magkatabi sila. Ang magiging sagot, number of ways na hindi sila magkatabi. Alright? So that's why we have this. Ayan. Ito yung total number of ways, okay, where 12 people can sit any of the chairs, okay, tapos tatanggalin lang natin yung number of ways na magkatabi yung dalawang tao. Okay, because they refuse to sit beside each other. So, tanggalin natin yung events na yun, or yung mga outcomes na yun, or yung mga arrangements na magkatabi sila. Okay, so simplifying, you're going to have this. Okay, ito 11 factorial, kaya meron yun. Minus, ang 11 minus 1, it's 10 factorial. Okay, times, kinopya ko lang ang 2 factorial. Actually, yung 2 factorial, it is simply 2. Right? Okay? Use your calculator and please verify this numerical value. Alright? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.